right, welcome back to Crypto's Rich Boy. Today we're going to be talking about Pepe. But before we do, guys, go ahead and like this video. Help me push it up the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel. I'll keep you guys updated with this project and many other great projects. Share the video with your friends and comment down below. Now we have the price of Pepe coming in at six zeros two seven one three it is down seven point nine five percent but so is the total market guys look at bitcoin down seven point four percent for the last seven days ethereum's down twelve percent for the last seven days uh you know uh even tethers down that's crazy bnb's down three percent for the last seven days xrp is down ten percent so guys look at these numbers it is not just pepe that is going down it is pretty much everything going down so um the only thing i can say is is <clears throat> when the market goes in a negative like direction everything else will follow you'll have these quick pumps from one-off coins and then everything else will follow but um, what do I think is going to happen with Pepe? So I've been doing a lot of research. I've been listening to a lot of YouTubers. I was involved in a Twitter space where, um, the influencer had over 700,000 followers. Um, you know, BitBoy, he said he had bought Pepe. Um, I think he said he, he bought it, got some profits and sold, left the profits in there. <clears throat> um, the, the wall street bets founder, of the Facebook group had bought Pepe and it is definitely something to where when you have other projects that are calling them like uh Doge Pepe Jr. or Pepe uh the little guy or whatever the case is when they're copying the main um the main meme there is something behind that main meme in four days it grew higher and faster than Dogecoin, Shiba Inu coin in the quicker amount of time. Um, and then I didn't realize this, but I guess the P the Pepe meme has been around since like 2005, I want to say. Um, I just learned that today. So it's something that it's been a iconic meme. It's been something that people have been um, following for the longest time. And uh, it's something that it's just now became a crypto. Now, uh, I think there, if you look, I think they said that Pepe has had over like 10 million tweets or something like that. So let's see. I think, where did I find that at? Anyway, we'll go look uh, down here. So we have 67.8 thousand followers on the uh, Twitter um, April 17th. Pepe quick link. So it has the telegram, the website, the coin market cap, the chart, and the contract address. So let's go ahead and take a look at the chart real quick, guys. Let's see what we got going on with this. <clears throat> so it is loading here very shortly. Um, and we will go ahead and take a look at the chart and maybe dive deeper into this. So let's see. Is it going to work? Let me refresh this. Uh, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to go in and manually search for Pepe. Let's see what we got going on here. So, uh, it's so funny. Someone bought Pepe with the S, and um, yeah, it was like, wait, what is that? Um, so here is the chart. So a lot of people um, like the four-hour chart, as we can see. We had that run up. We had a, we had kind of a little downfall. Had the run up here, and uh, and then it's kind of coming back down. But like I said, the whole market is coming back down, guys. So this is so new. I don't think the four, four chart does it justice. So let's go ahead and take a look at the, um, the one hour chart. So what could be happening is right here, we could be getting a shoulder. We could be getting the head. It might come back up, dip down, come back up, and then go um, back off to the races. I know we have a Fed meeting coming up. A lot of people are skeptical what's going to happen with that. If it's going, I think, I believe it's like May 2nd and 3rd. So it's coming up in like less than two weeks. A lot of people are uh, wondering 
uh, what's going to be happening with that. If they raise it 0.25, I think um, this is what I think is going to happen. I think Bitcoin is going to fall to around uh, 26. I think it touched 26. Um, I don't know if it's going to go back to 25. Everyone says it's going to go to 25. It may. It may hit the 25 too. Um, and then go back up onto the 30, 32 and um, 40 that may not happen until may 3rd or 4th when we get that information like hey we're not raising it 0.75 we're not raising it 0.5 um we're raising it 0.25 and then the market can kind of feel a little bit more at ease and go back up bringing more money into uh you know these really fun coins uh like pepe so that was the other thing that i learned um and i realized People get into meme coins for the fun, for the, for the, uh, just to kind of have fun in the market. I heard a lot of people in the Twitter space say, man, I have not had this much fun with meme coins for a very, very long time. Like I missed that. I miss the, the fun of it. I miss, uh, being able to just, uh, go ahead and hop into a community and flat out just have fun with it. Like, uh, you know, everybody kind of just, um, strict chart, strict chart, like, oh, charts going up, charts going down, um, uh, kind of takes the fun out of it, and another thing is, with, uh, the new, the, the new meme frenzy, the new, uh, which I believe Pepe started, <clears throat> it's bringing more people into the space, uh, you know, turning a hundred, two hundred dollars into millions of dollars is, um, definitely bringing more people into the space, you know, you have these, these, uh, just out of high school, you know, going through college, like they see this, um, uh, like, like what, like they turn that much in, like just starting, like people just starting their family, just wanted to buy a house, you know, for whatever reason, um, they are being brought into the space. Now, the only thing I will say is being a hundred percent real is because of all the, uh, meme coins that have came out, there were a lot of scams and rug pulls and stuff like that that uh, were very similar or, you know, kind of like um, added the word Enu to it or whatever the case is that may turn some of those people off. But I think once uh, we stabilize, we start to work our way up because nothing can go up forever, right? Like if things go up forever, you know, it would there would be it wouldn't, uh, everybody would be rich. And then what's the point of, you know, the, 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 what's the point of, of having money, right? If everybody has it and nobody really wants more, then there has to be another way to kind of pull people to do what needs to be done, go to work and do all that stuff. So, so this has to, the, the, the whole philosophy and economy and the whole, um, the whole, uh, the way the world works and goes around and, the cycle of things, there has to be money, right? There has to be uh, an incentive, a reward. So uh, luckily, guys, I think, I think this, um, I think we've seen the, the the decent pump. A lot of people are like, well, it's almost at its all time highs. Well, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, if you look at it, um, where the chart go? Uh, things go to their all time highs and then what happens? They go in price discovery, right? So if the all time high was, um, around, let's see, let me see if I have to just use this. If the all time high was around 4121. Then that means anything over is price discovery mode, right? So if we have price discovery mode, that means that there is no, that the charters, are going to have a little bit, you know, it's a harder time to be like, okay, well, it's went up to this previous. So if it goes up to this again, then that will be the top. That'll be the top of the channel. There will be no channel. It's just wherever it goes, it goes, right? And that's why a lot of these new coins can run so high. And then whatever, for whatever reason, a new coin comes out and people take their profits and jump into that or whatever the reason is. Um, they go to that, but I think long story short, I think Pepe is definitely, um, I think it's going to be the next Shiba Inu. I think it's going to be the next, um, Dogecoin. Uh, now can it get there today, tomorrow, next week? 
I don't think so. I don't think it's going to have a billion dollar market cap in a week or two weeks or a month. Now, I think in the, the hype of the bull run, uh, because of the community it's been able to to uh, gather, I think it is going to, to, to have big moves. And I think it is going to... Uh, to 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 do very well now i think if we can have you know kind of like a slight word upward trend it'll kind of keep people in it now if it just dumps um i think next year you know people are going to kind of be scared of it and look for something different but if we can kind of keep that slight upward momentum upward trend and people are like okay i'm making a little bit of money let me just kind of hold on to a little bit more let me hold on to a little bit more let me hold on to a little bit more um i think we'll do very well but that's just my opinion uh what do you guys think of pepe do you guys think uh where do you guys think the price is gonna go i think it's like i said i think it's gonna kill two zeros i think this time next year we're gonna see at least two zeros killed uh gone and i think with the community, um, I think we uh, are going to do well. Uh, like I stated in my previous video, the problem with the meme coins previous, like Safe Moon and and Doge Elon Mars and whatever the case is, is we were going into a bear market. So I think people got so nervous over those cryptos. I think they are going to be looking for the new ones, and I think Pepe is going to be the new one. And like I said, if we can <clears throat> just, if Bitcoin can just, you know, maybe do a quick drop to 25 uh, over the next week or two, come back up, and, and Pepe can kind of hold those, that at least two five, two three, two five levels, and then come work our way back up, um, or just work our way back up, I think, uh, you know, they'll, uh, people will be more uh prone to sticking with it right as long as we don't have like a massive massive dump and even if we have a massive dump there's gonna be those people that are just gonna come in and scoop scoop more up and uh you know you have those 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 um those people that believe in it and uh i do i think it's gonna be i think it's gonna be uh one of those ones that that are just, is gonna stick around and and we're gonna we're gonna do pretty well so um did it just go up or am i let me see let me let me check this out real quick um pepe yeah it looks like uh look at that we are in the 28 guys so i know people are like oh don't put the one minute chart but i mean guys it's a brand new coin you can't do a four hour chart with the coin that's only five days old <clears throat> or, or a week old or whatever it is like i mean you could but you're not going to get much out of it you got to Got to go down to lower time frames for the lower amounts. So, look at that. It's already having a little run. Um, let's see. I mean, I like the 10 minute chart on uh, Mexi. So, for those of you guys who don't know how to get it, Mexi is um, a spot where I got mine. Super simple. Just send ETH over there from Coinbase, sell it for USDT, then buy Pepe with that. Or I think you could just buy it with ETH. Um, I haven't tried that, but I think that is an option. So I think, you know, I think if we could keep momentum, if Bitcoin could just kind of chill and not <clears throat> fall, I think we can hit, uh, by the end of the week, I think we can go back in price discovery mode and we can see that new all-time high. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Share with your friends, like the video. Until next time.